All right, folks, today we'll be playing Total War Warhammer 3, one of my favorite Total War games. We will be playing an Immortal Empires campaign as the Empire, as Karl Franz and his mighty Franzer divisions. We will use the power of faith, steel, and gunpowder to see if we can achieve victory in 100 turns, or at least if we can survive for 100 turns. This is going to be a, 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 a spicy. I can't see what's happening. Are we boned? Yeah, we're boned. Let's go. And I will be playing on very hard difficulty because I don't like the not being able to save on legendaries. Also, I'm playing on hard instead of very hard battle, dif ba ba battle difficulty because I'll be honest, I don't like the cheats. Now, first off, I want to say a massive thank you for hitting 200,000 subscribers here. It's been a wild ride and I want to celebrate. And to do that, I have come to you with something that I hope you'll like. These are some high quality, beautiful mouse pads. The design made by an actual human for once in this age of AI art. So, Disc, you've done a wonderful thing with this. I love the style. I love the colors. I love everything about it, including the hidden details. Cool product something useful and it's not just my logo slapped onto something that's readily available these are some really high quality mouse mats i love the stitching I'm, i've been using this one for a while it's uh, like the test sample they sent me i love it now you can tell that the people who make this epic desk i've partnered with them mostly because like the founder knows what you want trey is a pc gamer himself he started epic desk because he was frustrated from the lack of creativity and honestly questionable build quality of what you can buy online mostly and they have done some wonderful designs over the years and now i'm very excited to partner with them myself look if you guys want one of these there is only one opportunity to get them these are the dates miss them and you will never see this mouse pad again it will never restock it's one and done so if you want one of these check out the link down below it will bring you right to the product page i am excited for these i will continue to use these and i hope you guys are excited for them as well anyway back to the video now the empire has its issues so it's got its own little mechanic here all the elector counts who will be summoned by franz the von karsteins the vampire lords get a part of the empire gotta get that back eventually there's electoral machinations we have prestige in short i'm not gonna make a guide on how to do this but always get at least a thousand prestige if you can get it this will allow you to deal with negative events and keep your elector counts alive and if they die resurrect them because as Karl franz for instance since if Karaburg were to be captured by, let's say, an orc, when we then take Karaburg back, we can either take it for ourselves or give it back to the elector that lost it or resurrect the elector from that province. So that's what we want to do. Enough rambling. We have wars to win. And we're going to start off by killing our closest enemy, the Empire Secessionist. So this is our initial faction to kill off. So let's just get Franz over there. We're just going to auto-resolve this because it's, it's, it's easy enough. I take some losses. That's fine. The entire stack's gone. And I can replace replenish my army a little bit, which is not terrible, or get some money out of it. And the next step is obviously to capture Grunberg. You know, I don't want to lose my Halberd infantry, so I'll just fight this manually then. Took some losses there, more than I would have liked. The hardest part with the Empire is the initial, I think the first 30, 40 turns maybe. The way I like to upgrade my Lords here is you go red line first. So Inspiring Presence, Pistol Core to really boost my range units. Those are the source of our damage. And then grab stuff like Imperial Gunnery for the artillery. All right, these guys are going to get nicely leveled up. I'm also going to hire an extra Lord here. This is decent, and this is decent. Let's just go with the Arch Selector. Owen von McHammer, obviously. Got to get that guy. He's going to trail behind, gobbling up some juicy extra experience, and we're going to start upgrading everything here. What we want in our provinces is growth. Not only do we need to deal with the Empire Secessionists, which is relatively easy, but to the north here, we've got Kazrak the One-Eye, so Beast Lord, who is going to be a giant pain in the ass. He's eventually going to come down to Altdorf. We have this here, and this is going to be the main problem early game. The Brass Keep, the Fecundites, a Nurgle boy. I don't like him, but we'll see. We'll, we'll try to deal with them as quickly as possible. We want to sign on aggression packs with all of our subjects, or the Elector Counts. We're not going to attack them anyway, and this way we can extract some value from those non-aggression pacts. Also want to get trade agreements going. In short, I want all of them to like me. In terms of research, I'm going to go with missiles first. I want to boost my range damage. That's the main source of my damage. I also want to keep recruiting some units while I can. So I could do global, but that takes two turns. Free company militia. These are 
decent in melee and I also have a little bit of range or just straight up regular archers. I'll just go with regular archers. They're my early game choice. They'll do sweet. No negative offense. I did get a free wizard. Which is it? It's a celestial wizard. I don't think this is any good. No, this guy's not any good at all. And we're gonna recruit a couple more troops for Karl Franz while he's on his way. Let's get some free company militia as well. So these guys are gonna take Ubersreich next, and then either Helmgard or Alhart, we'll see. This is one of those great events. Every start of your turn, you have the option to get one of these events. Uh, this one's fine. So who do I want to hate me? Midlands already doesn't kind of like me, so I'll just make sure that we get them a little bit balanced. Fine, I'll support Midland. They're currently at the lowest fealty, so balance it out. Auto resolve this, minimal casualties, and just occupy the town. Great, so one more town and we'll have full control. Beautiful. They've moved their army here into Helmgard. That does mean I can take Eilhart whenever I want to, but Eilhart's not that valuable. I want this place. One way to do that is to move this guy over there, just in range of uh, their province. Have him start raiding. I wanna bait their men out. And I'll move Karl Franz over into my own province still, into the forests here near Ubersreich. And then move him into ambush stance. In terms of what I want to build, in the major cities, I want to build things like the stables. Anything that goes past level 3, I want to build in major cities. So the gunsmith, the uh, stables, things like that. What I want to build in the smaller provinces is, until we have maximum growth, I want to build the fields all the way up to the maximum level. I also want the weaving house all the way up to the maximum level for income and then depending on the layout and where we recruit from I want to get the blacksmith and its upgrade as well as the barracks or the training field and its upgrade that way we can maximize the use of the minor settlements and then as we have all the growth and everything is at a maximum level so we don't need more growth I get rid of the fields and I replace them with either walls or with the roads here just small upgrades depending on what we need. Right now, what I need is money. Despite the initial difficulty of this, I love this campaign though. This is one of my favorite Immortal Empires playthroughs is always as the Empire. Ah, there we go. So the Empire Secessionists decided to attack our one little stack with Owen McHammer and got ambushed. And I can easily just auto resolve this and kill all of them. There we go. And I can replenish my army a little. There we go. Unfortunate losses, but it had to be done. I can now take the city next turn. Occupy Helmgard. And now I just need to move to Eilhard next turn. I keep recruiting. Cal Franz, get some more spearmen, please. Let's keep upgrading our archery. Start heading north and into Eilhard. Like that, decisive victory, minimal losses. We will wipe out the Empire Secessionists. Brilliant. Simply occupy the territory. We have our first province secured. Great. Let's also see if I can get people to not hate me. All right, Mr. Toddbringer, I like you. I want you to not hate me. You are the ultimate meme after all. This guy also hates me. Let's improve relations as well. I really don't want the electors to hate me, but I gotta make sure I don't spend too much of this prestige. Oh, great. Another one of these. I always want things to be returned, but like, ugh. Fealty of Averland's getting low. It can go a little lower. It does improve our imperial imperial authority, so that's good. kazrak has got a pretty big stack up there, but most of his stuff is trash. I can take him if he comes and tries to attack me here. Oh, he's just coming out to attack me anyway. If I auto-resolve this, I lose no units. And low casual. This is just a no-brainer. Thank you for the financial injection, Kazrak. And next turn, I'll take your city and wipe your faction out. Beautiful. Decisive victory and no losses. Okay, that's uh, a no-brainer. And now we have the option to do the usual stuff. Occupy, loot, sack, raise. But I can also return it to an elector. And that just gives me additional fealty for that guy. And I get more empire stuff. So always return stuff to an elector. You have the option to integrate them later anyway. I'm not going to straight up declare war on these little orcs. I'm going to fight whoever they're fighting, uh, in this case Midland, and ask, you know, how much are you willing to pay me to join your war? How much is that worth to you? It's not that much, but it's enough. And we'll, we'll join wars that way. At least it'll be profitable for us. Decisive victory. Nobody really loses. Bada bing, bada boom. Losses are minimal and we'll return the stuff to the elector. Go into encampment stand so I can replenish on my way to to the Black Pit. Really? Really? Fine, I have to fight Kemmler. What? 
He just marched an army up there? Close to feet. So I think I can fight this on the battle map and still win. We'll see. So they got stupid little birds coming up here. Shoot at the fell bats. Fire at the fell bats. These guys. Yeah, you've done all you're gonna do. Fall back. You guys focus on Kemmler a little bit longer. Yeah, we're also gonna pull these guys out. Get the cavalry over here to deal with the fell bats. Keep building up additional towers. I'm expecting the towers to be my only real <laughs> source of defense. I wish I could keep these towers manned for longer, though. Come on, Kemmler. Come within crossbow range, please, so I can make you into a fucking pincushion. How are you blocked? How do you not have range? How does that work? I don't know, and it pisses me off. Great, so we, we get Kemmler to come out and play, and then we are somehow unable to attack him. Oh, yeah, Kemmler's gone now. <laughs> Well, that immediately um, makes the rest of this a whole lot easier. What do we have here? Morngulls and Graveguard. All right, open fire. You already have a weak binding, so a little more damage and this should be going down. Okay, they're out of the picture, I think. Shoot the gra Graveguard and the towers can finish that off. Ammo's almost out, though, which is unfortunate. This is like my main killing potential other than the towers. All right, they're falling apart. They're all falling apart. Part, except for those zombies. Hurrah! We'll now kill that guy as well. He's disintegrating. Heroic victory, sure, but this AI, man. Unfortunately for us, the orcs are also not very clever and they decided to sally out right into my bait. So we have a decisive victory here as well. They are dealt with and I'll take the settlement next. And then I can retask army south because I am going to deal with the morons over there. Um, do I want to annex Midland? I'll accept it. Generally, it's a good way to grow. Oh, financially, though, maybe not. That gives us control of the Toddbringer. We'll bring the Toddbringer south. His army is also quite crap, but reconfigure. We have another stack here that's also quite crap. Don't want a Huntsman General, so I'm going to replace him. I'll take the Arch Lector. He's better. We'll take out the Black Pit. That's going to cost us some infantry, but really the infantry doesn't matter. Uh, I wish I could return it to the Elector. Now I have to occupy it. Get some fresh spears in and we can keep moving. Yeah, it looks like I get a decent payout for the Black Pit. I won't have to put troops there. I won't have to worry about it. I can always reconquer it myself. And uh, Nordland can have it for all I care. I can always get it back when I integrate them. So yay. Let's see if I can get them to join any wars. Maybe the Barrow Legion War. Oh yeah, they're all for it. Perfect. And I can recruit handgunners. So the Todd Bringer is going to get a couple of handgunners. He's going to march south and he's going to give Helmer Kemmler a nice clapping of the cheeks. This is also a pretty big one why you want to keep some prestige on hand. Instead of having two of my electors kill each other, I can just spend a little money or uh, sorry, spend a little prestige and stop the civil war and everybody gets on with business. God, why are these people so stupid? It looks like the Fekendites are gonna preempt me. They're taunting me by being this close to Karl Franz with a full stack. If I can take that stack out, I can then take the city of Her Hergig relatively easily. Talabheim is also pretty wide open, and I think they still have a full stack under the fat man himself, but I'm gonna see if I can go in and go after them. Of course, I'm first going to offer my services to Talabekland. Of course, if I'm gonna go to war, I'd rather get paid for it. And Karl Franz is gonna have his work cut out for him. I'm gonna build up another stack to the south here. These guys are gonna get ready to go. Oh, that's a lot of empires. All right, decisive victory. I'm gonna auto-resolve this, mostly because some of their units are really really annoying to fight on the battlefield. Like most of the demon stuff, if I can kill them quickly and efficiently, all the better. He's going to regenerate or do I push on on Herzig? Hergig. Well, nothing for it, but to get to it. Let's see if we can win the battle here. Oh, Pyrrhic victory. That's not ideal, but I think if I play my cards right here, I can actually win on the battle map. Let's see what this looks like. Oh yeah, I can win this on the battle map. Sure. We'll do a little bit of shooting there and slowly fall back. Move these guys forward, run back, and I'll use my cavalry to intercept their cavalry if it comes down to it. Fall back, you shoot the Chaos Warriors, you engage. No, not, no, 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 don't engage yet. You engage 
engage the Chaos Warriors, guard mode, and focus fire on one set of Chaos Warriors. At least we've got most of their Chaos Warriors tied down to the point that they're not an immediate threat. Get this cavalry back out. Artillery, artillery, keep pounding there. General, that'll be fine. You withdraw. All right, I think we're gonna beat him. Okay, this is expensive and not at all what I had hoped for, but I think we're gonna beat him. Oh, we won. <laughs> I just gotta kill these guys. Kill as many of these guys as I can before they're able to withdraw. Especially the Chaos... Oh, no, the Chaos Warriors are part of the garrison, I think. All right, a close victory, I'll take it. Yeah, overall loss is not too bad. I think most of these can recover relatively quickly. That stack is wiped out. The stack is also wiped out. We didn't lose a single unit. And we can now return this to the Elector. Ah, as expected, the Barrel Legion has sallied out to attack the Toddbringer himself. Wipe out the stack. Ooh, that's actually pretty significant damage to my infantry. <laughs> Boris himself has killed 536 people. And we've wiped out the stack. Okay, I don't think that stack's any in, in any position to take the fortress now, though. All right, I got most of the upgrades in for my missile units, my main source of damage. I think in tithe rebates, get some upgrades going for my income. My income is pretty shit right now. And then maybe state standard tr state troops get leadership and an overall strength for my infantry so my defensive line doesn't crumble on contact with an enemy. Fairly sure that Festus is going to take out her gig. Then I'll use Franz to hopefully take him out. If he takes enough casualties, that should be possible. Do I want to assault the fort? Because this is a lot of garbage. We might be able to win against the garbage. Pyrrhic victory, and I wouldn't lose units. Yeah, that's a that's a bargain. I need to make a lot more money. I am poor as can be right now. I'm wasting a lot of money maintaining garrisons, or rather, maintaining forces that I really am not in a great position to afford. We'll storm talent because the idiot moved his army out. Oh, that's two armies out there. Decisive victory, minimal casualties. I'll return it to the Elector. I don't think I've taken... Oh, I am taking attrition. Well, there's not a lot I can do about that, other than maybe move the army into ambush stance to see if I can make something funny happen. This is actually good. Festus tried to attack us. The ambush failed, yes. We still have an opportunity to intercept, and I'm bringing more than one stack of reasonable strength, and I can auto-resolve this without losing a single unit. It would wipe out Festus the Leech Lord, and these are the armies of the units I am actually worried about. So if I just auto-resolve this, yes, I take damage, but I I can recover and his stack's gone and now if i rush north to the brass keep i can probably start a siege and hold him there it looks like kemler wants a fight well i i'm the one attacking out because i've been trapped in my fortress the game thinks this is going to be a defeat i disagree if I'm honest. Let them all get shot to bits and pieces. All right, move forward. You fire into that stack. Actually, yeah, fire a bit into that massive pile of units. If I had artillery here. Oh, if I had artillery here. But alas, I do not. It's fine, though. You guys focus fire on the corpse cart. Want that dead and gone. Spearman forward, spearman forward. Uh, I'm gonna need to move these hand gunners over to the side. And that lord is also in range. All right. Oh, come on! I managed to get skeletons through. My stupid cavalry managed to get caught by slow-moving crypt horrors. Because of course they do! Go and get Kemler. Shoot Kemler. Shoot Kemler. Alright, that's one lord down. Okay, they still have a general over there. Attack him. Or it's a lord, or it's a... It's a I don't even give a, sh give a shit what it is. I don't want to see my casualties. I don't want to know what I've lost here, but I think we've won the battle. It only cost me my sanity. Oh my god. I don't think any unit was wiped out, though, so I'll take that as a win, since we do technically replenish losses still. Ooh, yeah, no units were lost. I am replenishing. The Siege of Castle Artois is going to be a little more expensive than I would like, so... Yeah, I think we can take him if we fight the map. If we fight a map battle, and I won't have to lose all of my units. Well, I didn't lose any units, and I'm going to occupy... Actually, maybe I should just loot and occupy and then sell it. I'm just going to occupy it and then sell it back to... To Kuron. They are very likely to pay out the nose for that place. Maybe I should have just looted it instead, but this will at least make 
for a slightly stronger Bretonia, who are going to be very grateful to me. Now, the Boris Bringer has, has to go back to the fort to replenish. He's having a bad day, very likely. All right, I can now get a decisive victory at the Brass Keep. Losses will be limited to two units I can easily replace. So be it, this is a fair trade and return it to the Elector. Good, let's go back into encamp stance and get the hell out. Who do I need to fight now? Let's, uh, let's see. Blah, 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 blah. They're dead, they're dead, they're dead, they're dead. Okay. Is the faction wiped out now? No. Where are the Fekundites? They have no settle. Oh, they still have that one army. I guess this is just my life now. Suffering while I try to put out all the fires in the Empire. Kemmler doesn't give up easily, does he? I could auto-resolve this for an incredibly Pyrrhic victory, but Black Coach, he's bringing a lot of Black Coaches here. I'm thinking we actually make use of our fortifications and our giant stack of units here and just fight it out. Mostly want these handgunners. Who do I want them to shoot? Ideally, maybe Kemmler, because if Kemmler dies, his army takes a massive penalty to uh, their overall strength, or rather their morale. They'll start crumbling relatively quickly. And the Halberdiers should be able to kill the Vargeists. At least they should be able... No. All right, at least my range all made it off the walls. It was probably a dumb idea to keep him up there for as long as I did. Shoot Kemmler, actually. Yeah, just shoot Kemmler. All of you guys, shoot Kemmler. He dies, I have a way easier time of this. Yeah, he's about to disappear. That should work out well. This is getting cleaned up nicely. This is actually going to be a bit more of a problem than I had anticipated. Let's get more halberdiers over there. This side is cleaned up. Go back there. We've killed Kemmler. All right, he's dead. It's over. Whew, close victory. Oh, it beats a Pyrrhic victory. This should take care of Festus. A decisive victory at low casualties. Just get rid of the fat man. And is the faction dead now? Oh, yeah, also return. Yes, the Fecundites are wiped out. And the army receives a plague. I don't like fighting Festus. This guy should probably get to work as well. There's only so little left of Kemmler. I want to get rid of that man. All right, I'll take Monfort and I'll sell it to Bastogne. Yeah, let these guys get one tick of replenishment. Next turn, I'll sell the uh, territory to Bastogne. Do they intervene? If they do, it might be a problem. No, they don't. So I could just auto-resolve this, take minimal casualties. All right, and I can um, loot and occupy. And then we'll repair this, I suppose. Or not even repair it. I could just sell it to Kuron next turn after I've taken a little bit of replenishment here. Yes. I don't think these are valuable provinces anyway. So yeah, I'll sell them to Kuron. Have a strong Kuron at my back. Hopefully. And then I can focus my attention elsewhere. Good. All right. It's all coming together now. It's all coming together. Now, I just need to get this army into position to fight the ogres. He's got a long walk to Altdorf. Oh, I must have really scared the fat man because he immediately <laughs> wants peace. Yeah, I think I can do better. But thanks. I, uh, that's high praise. Extra grenadiers and free company militia to skirmish. Maybe some extra spearmen this turn just to soak up more damage. They got a lot of stacks here. Garbage stacks, mostly. Almost exclusively, but still a lot of stacks. Still, I have to do something here because otherwise he's going to rip out my empire from under me. So congratulations, Vlad. You've earned my attention. I'll join the war. And Wizenland is willing to pay me handsomely for the pleasure. Decisive victory, minimal losses, and... And we'll return it to the Elector. Hopefully retreat into somewhat more favorable territory. Ambush stance. Yeah, that's fine. I'll put him in ambush stance over there. He's still regenerating. This guy is going to fend off, hopefully, either von Karstein or other stacks. I think the army's okay. And at least we have another friend. Sternland's back on the map. Yay. Non-aggression pack, military access, trade agreements, and money. Money, 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 money. I like money. Ah, you know, I might be able to take him. I got, I got a fairly decent force, so... Why don't I just try this? Shoot some explosive arrows. You've oh god, we're, we're just they're, they're just gonna come in hard and fast, like immediately gonna come in swinging. These guys are pointless. There's no point to keeping them there. You back, 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 back. This was a mistake. There is no point in keeping these guys out and disengaged. Yeah, back. This was a mistake. This was such a mistake. My grenadiers aren't getting kills. Boris isn't tying anything down. He He's, oh, they're crumbling. Okay, okay, okay. Graveguard, can we, can we kill the graveguard? All right, we might get the graveguard to crumble. Critical. Keep firing grenade launchers into that. Shoot, 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 shoot. Graveguard are crumbling. All right, shoot the heroes. Crypt ghouls into heroes. More grenade launcher shots into this massive unit. You kill the black coach. Uh, I'm getting tied down way too much by units. Boris, could you just tie Kemmler down? I think... 
think these are all crumbling. Good. Turn around and shoot something else. Like that coach. Turn around and shoot Kemmler. We're going to win this. We are going to win this, but it's going to cost us. It is going to cost us a lot. It, it cost us most of our infantry line. We killed Kemmler, though. And I think we've killed the faction with that. With a little luck, we didn't actually lose a unit. And I think we actually wiped the stack. Still, we didn't lose a single unit. And the Galleries and the Garrison and Army are both wiped out. And we will loot and occupy, and then I'll sell it to Kuron. And this I can auto-resolve. This takes Karsh von Karstein out of the equation. I think Isabella survived and ran away. Isabella and a couple of her trash units. We've wiped out one vampire army. We keep rolling the Franzer division south. Uh, Auto-resolve, quickly get that over with, return it to the Elector. So they managed to... Am no, they didn't manage to ambush me. They failed to ambush me, and as a result, I get to kill another one of their stacks. Gotta keep the Electors happy. Gotta keep the Electors happy. All right, let's move there. If I see anyone... No, no one to see. Let's take the moot. Decisive victory. Can return that to the Elector as well. And I'll get out of there before I take more attrition. Slow and steady wins the race. And slow and steady, we will crush the vampires. I'm a little conflicted here. I want the Altorf Call of College of Battle Wizards, because amazing. Bright wizards are really good. But at the same time, I also kind of want to upgrade the gunsmith to get my health some rocket batteries. But I can do that later. I still have a bit of time. Uh, they would take four turns to build anyway. Now I need to find ways to extract cash from everybody. All right, looks like Vlad's coming in with two full stacks and some reinforcements. I've got Mr. McHammer and the Toddbringer, and I, I can auto-resolve this. I really don't want to fight this on the battle map. Kill all their stacks, get a bunch of kills on my units, apparently, and they can regenerate. I'll, I'll put them in encamp stands. They'll regenerate. I'll kill Vlad later. That's Dorf dealt with uh, I put Soland back. Ooh, and I can use the money for those battles to work my way towards the Hellstorm rocket batteries. <laughs> we'll finally be able to really deal some actual damage. No, I'll not sign the non-aggression pack with Dreitschai. She's on my to-do list, so no. Oh, Pyrrhic victory. What is it going to cost me? Might actually be worth it because I win. He loses a full stack. I just lose infantry I can replace in a single turn. I'm auto-resolving this. I can replace place that infantry easily. How was he able to do this? He moves around like it doesn't. Oh, there goes the army. He gets the fucking settlement now as well. Hey, decisive victory. Uh, stack that doesn't matter got wiped out. There's still Vlad sitting in my own fucking capital. Oh, and they've got another full stack down near Wissenberg. <laughs> it never stops. He can't keep getting away with this. Why can he? Why? Why? How? Why can he keep getting away with this? Why is the changeling on my side? Why can't I actually see the changeling though? Is that is that, I don't know anything about his mechanics, but I'm mildly annoyed about them. Oh. The maw. Goodbye. That wasn't too bad. Looks like Vlad is attacking me. Sure, I'm willing to sacrifice some spearmen for that. Just to get you out of my hair. Now that we've built the College of Mages in Altdorf, I can actually hire bright wizards. Oh, Vlad. Never learn, do you? This gives me heroic victory. I don't actually lose anyone. And he loses another two full stacks of... What? And crossbowmen? So he loses another two full stacks of trash and some good units. Vlad, Vlad, Vlad. It takes some damage, but yeah, like, look at the kills on some of these units. 700 kills on these outriders with grenade launchers. You know you want to bring grenade launchers. With Franz taking Fort Sol, which I'm going to auto-resolve, obviously, with these kind of odds, we have wiped out the vampire. Oh my god, look at the kills on these grenade launchers. So with that, we have wiped out the southern advance of the vampires. I've decided I want the eastern border prince's land for myself. It's it's full of fat ogres anyway. Nobody wants that. And I'll fight the orcs here as well. Just to come consolidate my south. I've made good friends with Belagar Ironhammer. I might sell him Karakhern and Migdal Vongal Barak. Like these mountain forts, they're not really optimal for me anyway. So if I can pawn them off to him at some point, that would be great. And we've started to really grind down the Von Karsteins. I've had to tackle a couple of their bigger stacks, which always results in casualties. But trust me, auto-resolving this is way easier than fighting it on the battlefield because I hate the amount of chaff they bring to the field. It just makes the whole thing a lot more difficult than it needs to be. And now it's time for Karl Franz to take Akendorf. Decisive victory again. This army is incredibly high level, incredibly powerful as well. And we simply occupy that as well. There's another province secured to the south. Things are starting to shape up nicely for the Empire. I am 
constantly trying to sell the Black Mountain to any dwarf faction because I don't want to, um, you know, own it. Apparently, they won't take it because, uh, I don't know, the game thinks that there's no connection here because they... Uh, in short, there is no immediate land round between Karakhern and Karakizor because of this mountain range, and they won't, you know, there's not even an option to sell it to them, which is annoying, because I really don't want to, you know, hold on to this stuff. So, they'll only take the Eastern Border Princess stuff, but not Black Mountain. We have dealt with the Ogres. I'm willing to sign a peace deal with the Ogres from now. They've only got this place left, and they're really no threat to me. I'd rather they just go away, as far as I'm concerned, and I can then focus on whomever left to uh, oppose. Yeah, that's a nice payment. Thanks. I can now focus on Vlad's last army, and then I can turn these two armies on to Drycha, because I very much want to retake all of this territory for the Empire. And this is the last hurrah of Vlad von Karstein. I'm just gonna auto-resolve this. It's just gonna cost me some swordsmen. I really don't care. I can always get more. And that ends a major threat to the Empire with his last serious stab gone. Well, that's another stack, but that's also gone. Yay. And with that, we've achieved the short victory. So we're 71 turns in. We've gone through a lot here. Not bad, but I'd like to get the long victory. We're halfway there, I'd say. Most of these territories that we are supposed to be getting, I can get just by integrating some of my puppets. Well, sorry, puppets. <clears throat> I mean, Elector Counts. And probably either conquer or integrate Marienburg. That's fine. And I think that will bring me very close to the total amount I'd need. I get Boris to take on Dreisha herself. That looks to be winnable. I can just press this button and win because auto resolve is weird like that. Auto resolve doesn't like single entity units. So low unit count units, even if they're incredibly powerful, don't really do well in auto resolve. I understand if you guys think like bitter steel, we, we think it's kind of lame that you're auto resolving so many battles. I hear you. There's two reasons for that. Well, maybe three. One, I don't have the kind of time to just fight every battle because I'm recording these and they need to go out in a timely fashion too. I'm not bad. I'm not horrible at this game, but some of these matchups, I don't know how to win using these armies. I'm just going to take the auto resolve if I know it's going to give me a cheap victory. And three, I am a bit embarrassed that I just don't want to fight several of these. I, I just don't like it that much when it's a painful experience like fighting Vlad or fighting a monster death stack like that. I just don't like it. And that is it. That's the last of our settlements. That's another enemy defeated and room for the empire to expand. Those electors are now back. The faction is wiped out. So that gives me free troops to just focus on the south. So these are friendly dwarves for the most part that I'm surrounded by. And there's a massive orc problem though to the south. So Karl Franz has been ping-ponging big death stacks around. I haven't really recorded any of the battles because they've just been auto-resolved. Uh, I know. Uh, but I am slowly losing ground here since Karl Franz. I'm slowly losing ground here since um, Karl Franz can't be everywhere at once. So uh, I need to send troops south, which is where all these fresh armies are going to come in. Looks like Boris has a chance to take on Wurzag, the great green prophet. One of my friends really loves Wurzag. I can see the appeal. He looks kind of funky with that mask and his dancing. Let's see if we can do this because this is going to be another one of those underway battles. It's going to depend on just how well I can slow most of his trash down. So um, to battle, go forth, bringer of the Todd. <laughs> When my, my, my archers go, they go. Oh, when my artillery goes, it blows up my own stuff. No, 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 no. This artillery is doing more damage to my men than it is to the enemy. This is less than optimal. Oh, this is like the opposite of optimal. Okay, so this um turned out to be a little more damaging than I had uh, assumed it would be. Uh, this is actually quite terrible performance on my part. I really hope I don't lose the Demigriff Knights. They have been absolutely battered. If I lose those, oh my God. God, they are so expensive to replace as well. Just get the infantry up there. Just go. You guys shoot Wurzak. You guys shoot the other guy. Oh my god, I fucked this up so bad. Oh, I should have just auto-resolved it. I should have just auto-resolved the battle. You know, like I expected, the Crooked Moon are assaulting Akendorf, and Boris's army is not really in the best shape 
to hold this city. But it is a fairly strong settlement. It's got decent walls. So uh, what if we turn this into a killing field? I think I can take most of his stuff. Now, I do think I can put some people on the walls, mostly like the, the shitty garrison units, and use them to just slow the enemy down. These guys have taken a massive beating. I want to park them off to the side. I don't want them taking too much damage. Let's see how well this plays out. If I can bait them into attacking me before their full reinforcements arrive, maybe we can do something funny here. Oh, this is where the killing begins. This is a whole lot of pain coming my way. Fortunately, there's, there's also a whole lot of pain for me to dish out here. Gonna need some wizardly help of sorts. Oh yes, fire good. She's got to be able to cut them all down before they can do too much damage because this army is already in a fairly sorry state. Engage the night goblins, don't let them get to my lines. Many of these gunners are really struggling. And the fact that a lot of their units constantly remain hidden isn't helping, but I've got the range here, so I should be able to do enough damage quickly enough, I hope. Right, wizard's pointless now. I've completely expended his magical reserves, so there is no more magic coming our way. Pull Todd out before he gets overpowered towards the main garrisons, uh, the main barracks, whatever the main this is, is... Oh, this is... <laughs> this is butchery now. All right, get Skarsnik, get Skarsnik, get the bastard, get the little green bastard, is Todd back in business? Yes. Forward. Forward, you fool. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the AI broke. I'm shooting at them and they're doing nothing. Yeah. Okay, so something was just broken there. Uh, that's fine. We'll try and ride down as many of these guys as we can. Get as many kills in while we still have, uh, have a shot at it. Pyrrhic victory. So I uh, I don't think I did better. I, did, I don't think I lost full units though, so I... I guess that's okay. I think we're also ready to enact the next part of the plan, which is to take the Ice Tooth Mountain, so basically the northern coast up there, and sell it to Kislev, because Kislev is doing amazingly. They're our friends, and if our friends hold the territory, I don't have to worry about getting invaded straight away. It buys me a little bit of time. So two armies are going to go north. I'm still quite busy to the south, so I need to bring another army south. All in all, Eh, it's a bit of a slog. Anyway, we have green skins to kill, so let's get on to it. Karazakarak, sadly, this dwarven stronghold has fallen. Let's make it great again. Maybe I should first sack it and then take it next turn, because that is a lot of money. And I am partial to money. Karl Franz, Barakvar has to go. Ah, uh, they also have such juicy riches there, though. Let's just sack it. And that was a lot of money. Slow and steady wins the race. It's gone very slow, but speaking of steady, Elector counts. Apparently the window just broke. Ah, there we go. I've also integrated Nordland, so we have all of the Empire except for Marienburg, Visenland, and Mr. Gelt down there under our control. We're almost in full control of the Empire. As far as victory conditions go, we are six provinces away from the long victory, and we just need the Wasteland, Wissenland, and that's it. I'll go pick up some tanks, I think, as soon as I can, because I am deploying my Franzer divisions now. So Helmut here has a steam tank, and Marius here is getting two steam tanks. I'm going to roll them right into Marienburg, unless they're willing to confederate. Looks like they might not be willing to confederate, so I'll have to just um, force the issue. Oh, that's it. We've overshot our target. Turn 101. Victory has not been achieved, but we're about to um, take Marienburg by force. I've broken old treaties. I will probably become a traitor if I declare war now. I think I have to wait another eight turns to get a declaration of war in without massive diplomatic penalties. So be it. We're so rich, I can't even spend all my money. Well, maybe I could if I tried a little bit harder, but I'm upgrading everything within sight. I'm spending money hand over fist. I keep making more of it, mostly because every settlement I've taken in the last 20 turns, I've just sold to someone. Just sell them a settlement per turn, you get like six to 8,000 gold for it. It's just the best thing to do, considering we can't expand north anyway. And turn 103, we finally confederated Wissenland. That means other than 
the wasteland around Marienburg. We control the empire and we have our wi victory conditions. I'm just going to declare war. I'm going to take the reliability hit and end the campaign here. Just auto resolve it. Ooh, ooh, those are some some big losses. I still got Marienburg though. It, it got bit beat up, but still got Marienburg. And then up north here, we'll take the city of Arnau. Can I make this a little bit cleaner? They have no artillery, so I can make this a little bit cleaner. Well, nobody got wiped out, so I'll take that. Ooh. I was close though. <laughs> That was close. Well, turn 103. It's gonna take one more turn to really wipe out Marienburg. Can't really get to their last settlement. They got an army in there, and the only forces I have nearby are pretty beat up. But next turn, though. The long victory has been achieved. We have the entirety of the province of the Wasteland, and with it, the Empire. It is all ours. We hold all of it. Anyway, that is very fortuitous, because I just saw a message. I saw this message. Corruption spreads within 10 turns. The undead are gonna give me a very big headache. The vampire counts are going to rise. I'm guessing this area is gonna, is gonna be a massive problem for me in, in future then. That's good. That's a problem for future me that you guys don't have to worry about unless you want to see me try and tackle an endgame crisis. Never done that before. This is also the first time I've played and won as the Empire in Total War, Warhammer 3. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this experience a little. I know I'm not as good at this than I am at Hoi 4, but I want to play some more games on this channel, and I love this game. Even though I hate some aspects of it, I love it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you guys enjoy the next one as well. See ya.